Well, hello there again. I had to stop because I hadn't put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So it was my doctor's office calling and I didn't know what it was about. So you know how concerned you get about what they're gonna say or what they're not gonna say. And so I had to take the call. So if uh, you'll forgive me, I'll try to remember to put that on my checklist next time uh, to disconnect it. Uh, I, that's never happened to me before. Uh, but I've heard it, of it happening to people. Again, I'm Marty Whitney, and I'm with Artitude Adjustment, and I haven't been doing this very long. How did you know? Uh, the, uh, this is uh, an, an opportunity for me to, to do a few tutorials on some of the classes that I teach at Florida Grand Motor Coach Resort, and I also teach at RV rallies, RV uh, manufacturer rallies, uh, for private resorts and um, so I'm glad you're here if you are uh, looking at this video. I'm going to make sure that I can see your uh, comments now. Excuse me just a second. Uh, it's been a crazy day here because um, It's been a crazy day here because we've had a lot of rain and lightning again. And um, uh, like over an inch of rain. Uh, so we're kind of, uh, I don't like to get all over on the uh, computer because uh, I might need it. Um, oh, hey Mary Ann, I'm glad you're watching. And I'm gonna try to carry this on now. Okay. Did you see my little post with the flamingos in it today? I thought it was so cute. Okay. And there we go. So, um, what we're going to do today is complete uh, talking about alcohol inks. I've been talking to, about them to you all week long, and um, today we're going to make a domino pendant out of alcohol inks. And I usually will, just an old, any old domino will do. Oh, let me just switch my camera. Any old domino will do, and uh, first of all, just like anything else, you clean them with alcohol uh, so that you can get grease and residue off of them. This is really playing with fire here. Okay, I use, uh, after, I, after I complete the necklace, I mean the uh, pendant, I'll glue a bale and then about a 24 inch necklace some of the supplies that we used, same thing that we used yesterday uh, when we completed the bookmarks and we completed these uh, eight by eight square uh, tile. I'm using green today, raspberry, blue, and this is gonna turn out to be a brown probably. I have a dauber and it's backed on a Velcro so I can change it and use it over and over and over. Uh, I use 91% alcohol, and I use a pipette to spread it uh, to, to get the alcohol out. And I'm using a cotton tip today. I thought I might use it. Um, sometimes I use a straw. Got one right here. And uh, that would be just to blow the ink around. Uh, alcohol ink dries very fast, and so um, it's really fun to work with because you've got a completed project in no time at all. I'll be using E6000 glue uh, to, to uh, glue the bale on. So without further ado, I've already cleaned these alcohol, um, these pendants, and I usually work on a, uh, a mat, and then I put a plastic mat over that just to protect um, 
the table. Um, we, a lot of times we have a plastic tablecloth under that. Um, we use, I'll do one at a time so you can see. A lot of times I'll just, it's crazy. Oh, it's this, it's turning. Okay. I'll use, um, I'll just paint over this um, numbered side as well, but this is what's going to be showing. Oop. That certainly does take acclimation, doesn't it? If you, especially dorky, dorkiness. Okay, I'm going to do the brown at first because that's my favorite one. It looks so pretty. Uh, I don't think I'll need it, but I'm going to put... Now notice I put on a one glove. I use the glove. Um, to protect my fingers, uh, they're, they're, the alcohol inks are washable, but I don't like to get the ink inside my fingernails because it's hard to wash out. So it'll wash out with soap and water. So all you do is you take the alcohol and you just dab it on here. And I can blow it. And I can add more color to it. I'm gonna see if I can duplicate one that I've done before on this because it really was a pretty uh, a com completed project. Uh, I might need to get another color. This is a like a gold, but it's gonna be pretty, I promise. I'm gonna brush it on the sides and I can also use my dauber to Put ink on the sides and color the sides as well as the back of the domino. I've done a lot of these classes at remote locations as well as at Florida Grant and everybody likes this one because at the end you have a project that is um, quality enough for gift giving. And that's something that I treasure is getting something, a homemade gift. Now, I'm gonna put one more drop on here and kind of move it around. In fact, now that I'm getting a little bit of coverage I was just gonna make this one color, but I think it's needing another one. What do you think? Now, I can do this with, this adds a little dimension to it. By putting the alcohol on there, it starts separating the alcohol and it'll make a design uh, that's really unique. Every one of these are unique, of course. There's also alcohol blending solution. It does about the same thing, but I'll show you what I mean. It does its own thing, and I'm gonna put this aside and work with two colors. Now, whenever you're working with inks, just like I said yesterday, less is more because it starts getting muddy. Just a second. Okay. I'm gonna add another color. And I'll add a little more alcohol.
you can see, I think I'll put a little more blue. show you the colors that we're getting from here. Now, the third one that I'm going to make, and I think I'll put, I'll just rub this real fast. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, these are just plain dominoes, so I jump at them when I see them at antique stores or um, Goodwill or something like that because I've got something fun to do with them. And now we're just going to do the raspberry. See how fast this goes. Um, now at this stage of working with this, I could do I could do a little uh, writing on it if I wanted to. Nice thing about the alcohol inks is that they are so pigmented and they just are beautiful whenever they dry. I hope you could see that one real well uh, because it's drying very nicely. And I'm going to take uh, 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 my dauber. Rub around the edges of it. Um, after you finish these, and before you put any varnish on them, you'll take the E6000 and put it on the, uh, this one's gonna be very, very attractive. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit more blue on this one, just because I can. There. You can see it just starts making um, some other designs because it has uh, the alcohol on there. So, these are completed. You can see that that one is also making its own design now. Um, Let that dry for just a second. Hi, Mary Ann. Hi, Kim. Are you still at Mackinac? Jane, Maureen, did y'all didn't leave me, bless your hearts. Dee Dee, so glad you're here. And uh, this is the last that we'll be working with alcohol inks. I'll show you some other things. This is, these are just, um, these daubers have uh, just Velcro felt on the back of them so I can clean it up very easily. Um, I want to show you this one, it's so pretty. Whoops. See, isn't that pretty? You've never, well, when you put this on with your uh, bail, you can't tell that you have, I'm gonna use a clean one of these and go along the side of it. You can't tell uh, that it's a domino. And people will always ask me if I have these on. And I like for them to, oh, I, saw, I see a color I wanna put on this one. Just a little splash. Oh 
Now, like I said, you could write on this whenever the ink dries, or you can spray it with something like this. I use a Krylon Triple Thick. Uh, just about anything will work, though. Um, funny thing about these bales, though, whenever you put the bale on, you want to put it on like this on the back of your domino and so it's so it will be like whoop, like this so it's on the back of it centered and that's all don't you love it whenever something like this is this simple oh also another thing that I do after I have my completed project is I get some of these little gift bags presentations everything and you present someone uh, the gift bag uh, in their domino necklace and they'll just think you're very special so anyway do we, are there any questions Andrea nice that you're watching and Kim I guess you're back in town um, this is not paint these are alcohol inks uh, alcohol inks are in the uh, paper products area of Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Uh, they're highly pigmented inks. And uh, this is the third class that I've had uh, showing the inks. Um, uh, we made bookmarks. Uh, let me show you one of the bookmarks that we made. And then uh, we did uh, a tile. This is one of the bookmarks that we made and we've laminated it and put a tassel on it. Oh, I'm so disoriented about this. But um, they, these are beautiful gifts to give with someone. Wouldn't you love to have someone give this to you when you, they give you a book or a magazine or something? It's really a nice gift. So anyway, they're Ranger. These are Ranger and Tim Holtz alcohol inks. And you can get them in the same area of the store where they have the wood stamps, the little stamps. I appreciate you staying with me today and uh, looking at the video. I'll be back later, but we're going to go to a new medium next time. So it's going to uh, be something that you'll love and it'll be easy to do. If you have any questions about doing this, this is a very reasonably priced uh, craft. get this out of there this is a very reasonably priced um, craft to make but it's also very beautiful so I hope you had a good day I hope you'll have a good evening thank you for looking and uh, I hope I'll see you again at attitude adjustment bye bye